Hi everybody, this is Kendall from Sager Family Farm, and today I'm gonna to show you one of the ways that I check if my honeybee hives are healthy. And I'm gonna do that by doing a sugar roll to check for varroa mites. Varroa mites are small pests about the size of a pinhead that feed on the fat bodies of bees. Usually they're found on the stomachs of bees, so they're very hard to see inside the hive. Varroa mites carry diseases that make bees sick. It's easier for beekeepers to see the diseases than the mites themselves. But sometimes by the time we see these diseases, it's too late to save the beehive. So that's why we do the sugar roll test to see how many mites are in the hive. To do a sugar roll test, we'll need a jar with a screen top. This can be made from a peanut butter jar and number eight mesh, or you can buy one. Next, you'll need a half cup measuring cup, powdered sugar, it needs to be powdered, not granulated, a spray bottle with water, and a white tray or bin. Now we'll open the hive to find bees that would most likely have varroa mites on them. Varroa mites reproduce inside the cocoons of baby bees. So we're going to go straight to where the baby bees are. Varroa mites will hitch a ride on the young nurse bees who are feeding the larva. So we want to collect the nurse bees for the sample. This frame has lots of baby bees on it and therefore more nurse bees. So we're gonna shake them into our sampling bin. The older bees who may be forager bees fly back to the hive, but the nurse bees stay in the sample bin. We'll shake two or three frames with baby bees into the sample bin, carefully checking each frame to make sure that we don't shake the queen in there. Once we have enough nurse bees in the bin, we quickly scoop a level half cup of bees into our screened jar. This represents about 300 bees in our sample. We put the rest back into the hive. Now we add one tablespoon of powdered sugar into the jar and swirl the sugar and the bees for 30 seconds. The fine powdered sugar causes the mites on the bees to lose their grip and fall off. At this point, you may be thinking, poor bees, but you can think of this like when you go into the doctor and they draw a bit of your blood to check if you're healthy. 300 bees represents a very small fraction of the 60,000 bees in the hive, which will quickly be replaced and we are sampling them to evaluate the overall health of the hive. After 30 seconds of swirling, we shake the mites out into the bin. We use the spray bottle to dissolve the powdered sugar, making the mites easier to see and count. I counted five mites in this bin. The last step to the sugar roll is a bit of math. To find out the infestation level of our hive, we take the number of mites divided by the number of bees in the sample and multiply by 100. If you do the sugar roll with one half cup of bees, this equation simplifies to number of mites divided by three. We saw five mites in our bin, so my hive has an infestation level of about 1.66%. If I find an infestation level of 3% or higher, I treat my hive to reduce the level of mites. It is important to keep the number of mites low because when you start to see higher infestation levels, the viral load of the hive can be so high that your hive might be doomed to fail within a few months, even if it looks beautiful and strong now. If you have a beehive, try doing the sugar roll to monitor your mite levels, especially in late summer or fall when there are more mites in the hive. If you have a question or any requests for future topics, leave a comment below. See you next time on the farm.